showcasing a wide range of personalities and strengths, the Walking Dead characters who could finish Squid Game may be surprising. As one of the most iconic television shows in history, The Walking Dead has proven to be the series that keeps on giving. Currently on its 11th and final season, the show is set to air its final episodes on February 20th, 2022. Meanwhile, the success of the Korean hit series Squid Game on Netflix has rumors of a second season floating around the web. Centered around a deadly competition, it left viewers betting on whether or not they could win. With The Walking Dead showcasing extremely resilient characters placed in extraordinary circumstances, it is curious to see which ones would excel or fail when placed in this deadly game. Arguably one of the weakest characters on The Walking Dead, Eugene has managed to survive until the last season for one reason, his friends. This is why he wouldn't make it very far in Squid Game. Designed to pit everyone against each other, this competition is cutthroat. No one would be willing to give Eugene the kind of help he received from his zombie fighting buddies. While his intelligence might allow him to complete the honeycomb game, he most likely wouldn't make it past the first red light, green light round to find out. Although he survived on the run for quite a while in The Walking Dead even without a leg, Herschel wouldn't make it very far in Squid Game. His situation is very similar to Eugene's in that he requires a lot of assistance from his family and friends. For example, he is rescued by Rick on more than one occasion due to his own stubbornness like when he left the homestead to go drinking after the walkers in his barn were dealt with. No one will have been back in Squid Game, which would lead him to fend for himself. Another character who requires too much assistance from everyone else is Lori. As Rick's pregnant wife, she wouldn't make it very far in Squid Game. Aside from needing a lot of help, Lori has a tendency to not listen to instructions. She also doesn't pay attention. A good example of this is when she takes a vehicle and goes after Rick, Glenn, and Herschel in Season 2. Looking at a map instead of the road, she gets into a major accident, totals the car, and almost gets herself killed. She only survived because Shane came to the rescue. While Beth eventually proves that she is more resilient than everyone thought, her role in the group is more of a caregiver. Nurturing Judith after Lori's death and tending to her father's leg injuries, Beth simply isn't cut out for the world of Squid Game. When she is kidnapped and taken to a hospital in Atlanta by police officers, Beth is put into a precarious situation. Tormented both physically and mentally, she ends up getting herself killed just when she is almost free. As a fan favorite, Glenn could most likely make it through a few rounds of Squid Game. However, just like the shocking twist in The Walking Dead, he wouldn't make it to the end. Proven numerous times, Glenn is quick on his feet and can get in and out of dangerous places without being seen. This would be his advantage in the red light, green light round. He even has the potential to make it through the next few games, just like he made it through several near-death experiences with the people at Terminus and his multiple incidences with Nicholas. But he wouldn't cross the finish line. Although Rick Grimes is the leader of the group in The Walking Dead for many years, he probably wouldn't win Squid Game. His loss has nothing to do with his physical strength or his ability to plan strategically. It has more to do with his concern for others. Rick puts his group above anyone else. Every season shows him going to the extremes to keep them safe. He killed his best friend, offered a truce to a dictator, bit a man's throat, and even sacrificed himself to prevent the ones he loves from being harmed. He would probably end up doing something like that in Squid Game, which would lead to his demise. As the samurai-wielding badass that she is, Michonne is an exceptionally strong character on The Walking Dead. She can avoid being seen as she did numerous times with her tamed walkers and she can keep going while injured. However, her downfall may be the same as Rick's. Michonne cares deeply for her group. They are a family to her. She becomes a mother to Carl and Judith, and she goes out of her way to find and eliminate threats. But her consideration for others would be her greatest weakness in Squid Game. After losing everyone she loves, 
Maggie has proven herself to be resilient beyond measure. She watched her father, sister, and husband die in front of her, and she is still going strong in the final season of The Walking Dead. Maggie has a good chance of winning Squid Game. As presented in the first half of season 11, she explains that she no longer has feelings. She shows this when she allows one of their groups to die in a train car instead of opening the door to let him come in for safety. For this reason, she may have what it takes to make it to the finish line or at least very close to it. At this point in the series, Daryl seems to be the ultimate fan favorite and one of the best characters on The Walking Dead, according to Ranker. His rugged, outdoorsy character allows him to survive in the harshest conditions, which is why he would do very well in Squid Game. Throughout the series, Daryl survives falling off a cliff twice, being shot, and even being subjected to extreme torture by Negan. He knows how to live, and more importantly, he wants to live. Raised in a turbulent home as a child, Daryl has never truly known peace. As sad as that is, it would most likely help him make it to the end of Squid Game. As the most seemingly innocent character in the group, Carol has the best shot at winning Squid Game. She is unsuspecting, resilient, and intelligent. She has the ability to see situations for what they truly are, and she isn't afraid of sacrifice. After being banished from the group by Rick for killing two sick group members to stop a virus from spreading, Carol comes back to save the day when her friends are taken captive by Terminus. She also showcases her ability to go undetected later on at Alexandria when the wolves attack the community. Overall, Carol has the highest chance of winning the Squid Game.